আমরা যে বাংলাদেশে যে খাদ্য সংসম্পন্ন হচ্ছি তার পিছনে এই সোলার ইলিগেশন পাম্পের একটা ভূমিকা আছে এবং এটা দিনে দিনে বাড়ছে তো এই দুটো কাজেই যারা সামনে থেকে নেতৃত্ব দিচ্ছেন তারা হচ্ছে ইটকল ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার ডেভেলপমেন্ট কোম্পানি লিমিটেড এটা বাংলাদেশ গভর্নমেন্টের ফাইন্যান্স মিনিস্ট্রির আন্ডারে একটি সাস্টেনেবল ফাইন্যান্সিং অর্গানাইজেশন নন ব্যাংকিং অর্গানাইজেশন তারা এই সাস্টেনেবল ফান্ডটা দিয়ে থাকে তো তাদের কাছ থেকে শুনব আজকে রিনিউবল এনার্জি অপরচুনিটি অনেক নতুন নতুন কাজ হয়েছে রিনিউবল এনার্জির উপরে যেটা নেট মিডারিংয়ের কথা আপনারা শুনেছেন সে বিষয়টা হয়ে গেছে আমাদের কাছ সাথে আছেন আজকে মোহাম্মদ জাহিদুল হক ভাইস প্রেসিডেন্ট অ্যান্ড ইউনিট হেড ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়াল অ্যান্ড এনার্জি এফিসিয়েন্সি ফাইন্যান্স তাকে অনুরোধ করছি তার প্রেজেন্টেশন দেওয়ার জন্য জাহিদুল হক একটা হাততালি দেই Good afternoon everyone. It's uh, Mohamed Jahidul Haq from Infrastructure Development Company Limited. If you allow, can I speak English or Bengali? Okay, sir. Thank you. So, I hope by this time you are well aware about the uh, LEED uh, certification and others, okay? So, actually, oh, let's be fine. Thank you. Okay. Let's start about the, our financing mode and others. It Call is uh, mainly a fully government-owned company. That is 100% owned by the Ministry of Finance. And uh, we are the uh, licensed, awarded by the central government as a non-banking financial institution. Though I have, what I have seen in my life that uh, lots of people are not well aware about the, what is it called financing or others. Actually, uh, I want to clear it from my very beginnings that uh, it call is not mainly focusing for the retail financing, mainly for the infrastructure financing and its uh, more than 50% weight was given earlier for the renewable and the sustainable sector, which we call the green banking sector. But now a bit changed because uh, of so many reasons, which we'll cover up later. So it's the largest uh, financial sector in the infrastructure uh, sector in Bangladesh. And uh, what you can say that the market later in the renewable energy, mainly their source of fund from us uh, coming from the JICA, World Bank, ADB, IFC, KFW, etc. And right, uh, right now we have total 365 employees all over the country. So mainly headed by the board of directors, uh, the ERD chairman, the secretary is a, a chairman of the company, and the other four secretary, the power secretary, and the disaster secretary, and the finance secretary, and the prime minister of secretary are the board of uh, directors, along with three other uh, person from the private sector. So which makes it a very uh, a mix, good mix in, in kind of a PPP nature, that we are not usually finding any kind of government projects, mainly for the private sector financing. And here you can see the, there are some major funding, funding that we, we are financing for the infrastructure, mainly the long-term uh, financing for the both local currency and the US dollar financing. And we have financed in the renewable energy sector like the solar home system, solar irrigation, solar mini grid, biogas, improved coke system, and many more. And we have newly opened another, another window that is energy efficiency, focusing on the energy efficient equipment financing, very deep discounted rate, uh, and the uh, improved coke stop under this sector and also for the green building, financing under the energy efficiency. We have also another wing for the advisory services as well. So here you can see that the uh, infrastructure sector, mainly it call is financing for the power sector. The country's largest, power, I mean the first ever largest power plant, 450 megawatt megawatt power plant was financed by the uh, it call. Apart from that, we have financing telecommunication sector, optical fiber, ports, private ports, container yards, gas, refinery, shipbuilding, toll doors, and many more. For the renewables energy, we have uh, we are the actually uh, we are proud to say that we have set up four point uh, around one point four point one four million of solar home system, which is the second largest in the world. I mean, for just after the India, they have got eight point zero million for the solar home system. But under a single project, it calls uh, solar home system is one of the uh, one of the re renowned in the whole world. We have also financed for the grid connected solar, which is called the megawatt project. Uh, I mean from 20 megawatt up to 100 megawatt, which will be, the generated power will be directly uh, provided to the grid, national grid. We have already financed uh, solar mini grid, solar irrigation pump, solar rooftop, and others. And under the energy efficiency, which I earlier mentioned, that's a conventional uh, brick clean transform into the automatic brick manufacturing project, uh, energy efficient uh, boiler and other industrial equipment, and green building as well. 
So just to have a, a glimpse of our financing projects, you can see that say, approximately 1,600 megawatt funding uh, megawatt project has been financed by DITCOL. By the end of this year, it will be reached by 2,000 megawatt. The country's first river port was financed by ITCOL and the telecom sector. And the, the last one you can see, this is the first ever PPP project, which is a hemodialysis of 100 bed set up in National uh, Kidney Dialysis Center and the Chitong Medical College. Some other infrastructure projects, uh, there's uh, Four Point Sheraton and the shipbuilding private uh, sector dockyard and the first uh, country's uh, formal, or I can say the plastic bottle recycling plant. You may not ever that the, all the plastic bottle reusing and the trash that has been collected by that company and they're using again for the resins which will be again used for new bottle, bot plastic, uh, plastic materials and others. We have financed the refineries, the LPGs, and the, another one, the last picture you can see, that is the country's largest ever central waste treatment plant, which is 45,000 cubic meter per day, that is set up in the Chitong EPZ. I mean, all the EPZ companies' waste bill, I mean, has been treated under this plant, and that has been again drained out to the, uh, I mean, factory side. So just to have a look about our clients, almost you see the summit. City Energy Pack, Dorin, there are many of our clients that we are funding. I mean, what is the resembling here that almost all the top tier of the industry, top notch companies are actually mainly t getting fund from the ITCOL. So I think this section will be much more relevant for today's program. There's the renewable energy. So what you already have mentioned, the solar home system, approximately 4.14 million has been set up. 18 million people is the direct beneficiary for this project. Actually, from this setup, I mean, when it call was first in set up from the 1997 to, uh, uh, till now, still we are running this project. But the ultimate beneficiary is, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, this sector is not that much growing like the earlier one due to uh, national coverage of the Ishle electricity to the uh, rural people. However, there are many places like the Chor and other remote areas that we cannot able to provide the national grid electricity. That's why this solar home model is uh, uh, similarly popular in those region. In total, there will be 150 megawatt approximately if we can, uh, if we can totaling this. And uh, there is a, you can see some fossil fuel savings and job creation about 75,000. And almost 70, 700 million dollar it called already financed in this sector. And for this sector, the interest rate is very much low. Still, the program is running, and if anyone is interested, they can directly contact with it call. That will be a deep discounted rate for financing in this sector. This is the most popular hot you feel that the upcoming event, the solar irrigation pump. Actually, all the, uh, as, as Mr. Antos uh, already mentioned, that we are the self sufficient in the uh, uh, rice crop growing. But the reason behind this is uninterrupted supply of the, uh, uh, you know, the farmers' uh, effort. They are not getting the electricity all the time, for sure. So they're using the diesel generator for their pump. So a new model has been developed by the ITCOL that a couple of years earlier we have started that this solar irrigation pump can help the uh, farmers directly. So we have a plan that approximately 50,000 will be set up by 2025. Right now, 1,500 pumps are good, good, good running. Okay, and for financing these terms, you can see that there is the interest rate of six percent, and there is a grant portion. That only that reason we can offer the lower interest rate for the ultimate beneficiary. I mean the uh, farmers, and for this project, the funding actually come from the KFW, uh, USAID, Bangladesh government and the loan part from the ID and the JICA. So there is a solar mini grid. Uh, we have already uh, uh, successfully completed 17 projects and uh, we have approved the 25 projects and already in the morning session you know that Mr. Dr. Shahadi Ahmed Choudhury is with us, uh, was with us. Actually he was one of the uh, consultant for the call to designing and other implementing for the solar mini grid and rooftop solar. Also, for this project, we, can, uh, we, are, we are offering the very low interest rate, which is 6%, which is uh, what I assume that the lowest ever in the country is financing. And there is the domestic biogas and the biofertilizer. As we are also promoting the green finance and the sustainable finance, we are also running this project for a long, though the amount is not that much, but it's still, there is a very uh, uh, successful project, what do you, what do you believe? In the, uh, you are all aware that the, there are approximately 
approximately 10 lakh Rohingya coming from the Myanmar and they are now staying at the Cox's Bazar and the Technaf region. But the, all these Rohingya has a plan for shifting at the Vashan Chor. So at that Vashan Chor, these 8 to 10, eight, 10 lakh people will be covered under this domestic, uh, domestic biogas of around 140 cluster. So the, pro uh, the process is going on. So the other renewable energy interventions that I can mention, the rooftop solar. Uh, we also feel that, that this sector will be the most promising in the upcoming years because all the garments, textiles, and all the other manufacturing companies, those have a very idle uh, rooftop. Then we are promoting that this rooftop solar will be the very much advantages for them. Even we have, we have received very uh, positive response from those. And we are happily announcing that the net metering system draft policy has been done and it will be completed by end of this year. So once the net metering policy will be, uh, I mean, uh, has been passed by the uh, parliament of the government, so you see that there will be a lot of rooftop solar customer will be knocking for, 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 for this facility. And also we are providing the single digit interest rate for rooftop solar. Grid connected solar project, also one of our uh, project, I mean, so far, uh, you know, there's a, there is a power system master plan has been developed by the JICA for Bangladesh. I mean, after each five years, there is a development for the power system master plan. As per the last power system master plan, there is a plan for that 20% energy should be coming from the renewable source, from the energy efficiency and the energy conservation. So if you think that we have a total setup of 13,000 megawatt of electricity, 20% is straight away coming for 2,600 megawatt. 2,600 megawatt coming from the renewable energy is not a joke because it call is uh, contributing this sector for last 20 years and able to make only 150 megawatt total accumulate capacity only for solar home system. So as the government has a plan for 2,000 megawatt for the renewable energy so sources is very, very ambitious plan. Only for that reason we have uh, actually open up our window for the grid connected solar project, which is ranging from the 20 megawatt up to 100 megawatt. For the solar rooftop project, we have already approved seven projects, and the one project is under operation. And the solar charging station, so far not a single solar charging station has been implemented because government issues, permissions, and many other things has not been finalized. Municipal waste to energy, we are still unable to manage our municipal waste. But government is planning for two pilot projects for a one megawatt. One is DNSC and another one is approximately Naran Goj. After the successful implementation of that project, we can be able to funding for the municipal waste to energy. Biogas based project already in our uh, pipeline and the biomass, rice cast based power project that is also in our pilot phase. Another thing I could miss that is the solar coal storage. We have already uh, finance one project for the solar coal storage. Actually, that is a kind of hybrid system. I mean, in the North Brinkle region already we have discussed with the Secretary of the Association that they are suffering for uninterrupted supply of the electricity. So they have to use the diesel uh, generator for the backup. And this model can help them for uninterrupted supply. I mean, for the solar PV panel at the daytime and the combination of the grid and the uh, generator as a backup. So I, I hope that will be a very good for the coal storage owners, okay. So here are some pictures uh, that I can show you that approximately 910 solar irrigation pumps in, still in operation, 14 solar mini grid projects already in operation. And there is another window for this uh, energy efficiency that I would like to highlight that uh, approximately 7,000 of the traditional fixed chimney big clean are operation in Bangladesh and all of them are illegal. I swear that all of them are illegal because as part of the Act 2013, Brick, Brick, uh, uh, Brick Control and Manufacturing Act, all these fixed chimney cleans are illegal. But we do not have any kind of mechanism that we can convert all those FCKs into the energy efficient or hybrid Hoffman tunnel or the environment friendly brick clean. There are many challenges we are facing in this sector. Only for this reason, it call is mandated by the government that you should play a role in this sector. That's why we are coming in this for the automatic brick manufacturing project. Approximately uh, $32 million has been approved for this uh, eight project that it call is funding and we will be happy to show you some of the project within end of this year. We are expecting that four projects will be coming into operation. However, around around 7,000 7, of FCK, some are trying to convert it or transform it as a energy efficient automatic brick. And so far data we have, that's a, almost 23 to 30 tunnel clean projects are operating in Bangladesh. 
that is a very low compared to a 7,000 brick, okay? And another window we have opened up, that is the energy efficiency, uh, equipment financing, and the green building. The lower part of the picture you can see, that is a green uh, lead platinum certified factory in the Gajipur. So actually, uh, our funding model is like that. We are funding the energy efficient equipment. What I mentioned earlier, that to implement the power system master plan, we have to generate 20% of the total setup energy, I mean 2,600 megawatt, by using renewable energy, by using energy efficient equipments, and by energy conservation. So our role is that the solar home system, solar irrigation, rooftop solar, that will be coming from the solar renewable energy sources. And the other two part will be covered under the our, it called energy efficiency financing window. Under this window, we are funding uh, kind of 100% uh, up, to, up to the equipment, equipment cost for the different manufacturing concerts. Uh, for the textile, garments, ceramic, steel, cement, and many more. We can finance up to 100% of that equipment cost at a lower interest rate, which is approximately 5 to 6%. Apart from that, we are also financing for the green building section also, for the uh, heat protective glass specifically, for the building energy management system, for the elevator and others. But if any of our customer is approaching us for that, they want a funding for the green building, we are ready to finance. We are ready to finance at a very commercial interest rate. I mean, not the double digit, of course, at a kind of a discount rate. But we have some our internal approval criteria. I mean, I, can, I would like to mention some of you with you. Like, uh, as uh, Mr. Ramar already have mentioned about the cityscape. So actually, we have a dis uh, I discussed with the cityscape and we are unable we were unable to finance at that building there are some reasons actually we want that if any customer if any uh, sponsor is making a green building the benefit should go to the ultimate beneficiary i mean if a commercial complex is a green building they can be rented out that can be rented out and the ultimate beneficiary should be the owner of that building only only then it can be finance I mean, if again, if a, if, a, if a government's manufacturing owner is uh, going for a green building lead certified, so that we can finance, because you know the green, return from the green building is uh, very hard to calculate. That can be measured by the energy savings and for the uh, kind of uh, some premium charges for the buyer or something like that. But we have to consider for our payment, for our repayment, that the whole factory what is producing, considering the green features and the energy savings, and of course the manufactured item. So inclusive all equal is funding for that kind of factory building, preferably, but not for a commercial building so far. But still, we will be uh, will be uh, 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 kind of uh, searching the options so that how it call is uh, play a very big role for financing in the green building sections. As I mentioned earlier, the net metering system has already been. Uh, yet to be completed by the end of this year, so there will be a huge change we'll face in, uh, face in 2019. Just like that, there is a refinancing scope for the Central Bank of Bangladesh that if any of the sponsor is making a green building, they can have an option for refinancing for that building up to a certain limit. That has been started from 20 lakh to 20 crore. So for submitting that proposal to the Central Bank, Central Bank has some criteria that has to be filled up. And what I want to uh, mention here that Unofficially, I have got a report from the Shreda, which is called the Sustainable and Renewable Energy Development Authority of Bangladesh, under the Ministry of Power, that they have circulated one detailed guideline for the green featuring and for the green building criteria to be met up for availing the fund from the Bangladesh Bank. So they have rated the one star, two star, up to five star, and they have some specified criteria that can be met up. I am not sure whether that guideline will be available in the Shweda's website. Uh, I hope, but a couple of some days you can be able to get that uh, through Mr. Ananto or some, or you can also communicate with us for that guideline actually. So the green brick section already we have approved, though we have approved 27 uh, million, but another project has been got approved. So the total amount is 32 million. And we are not only providing the fund only, we can provide the technical support and others. There are some of the pictures for the industrial energy efficiency, as I mentioned, the JICA funded projects that, are, that can be financed up to 100% of the cost, approximately 4 to 7% interest rate. 
and there is another project that it call is running which is improved coke stop program though the amount is not that much big but all you are aware that the conventional cook is uh, wasting more than 75% of the energy so we are trying to develop such a financing such an uh, uh, such a cook a cook, cook stove that can at least use the maximum of the burn energy. So far we have found 37% of the energy can be used for cooking. And we have another uh, wing, window that is called the advisory service. I mean not only for, for funding, if you wish any kind of corporate advisory services, uh, you can also contact with it call. We can provide that service uh, for some payment. And here are some pictures you see that we have already just want to mention one thing that the solar home system which is successfully run in Bangladesh, the, some other countries in the world are also very much interested like the Myanmar, Cambodia and the Uganda. They, several times they have visited in our office for their team and they have, a, uh, they have actually asked for it called to open an office at their, off, at their, I mean, Congo or Uganda so that they can, they can uh, follow our solar home system and solar mini grid model in their country. So a couple of uh, pictures you can see that the ITCOL is awarding the uh, largest taxpayer in the non-banking financial sector. ITCOL is ICMB based corporate award and also the green award. And the last achievement for the ITCOL that I can uh, please to announce that uh, ITCOL is the one of the first national, inter uh, national uh, implementing entity for the Green Climate Fund. As in the first session, we have all heard that the, due to the climate changes, though Bangladesh is not the responsible for that, but we are the sufferer, we are the victim. So to reduce that risk, there is a fund generated by the developed countries, which is the Green Climate Fund, and it is one of the, uh, actually the only the national implementing entity for the Green Climate Fund. So under this fund, it will be possible for, the, uh, for funding the commercial com uh, manufacturing and any other actually they suffered sectors for a very low cost funding but all those funding should definitely should come from the it call and it is the uh, one of the 54 gc evacuated entities in the globally so that's all for the it call if you have any questions i'll be ready to answer thank you for your first question that the energy efficient equipment financing this, uh, the catch point is that why this machine is energy efficient, okay? So we do not have any baseline data. So we have to realize some of the preset criteria by the donor agencies, like this fund is baked by the JICA's fund. So JICA has specified that these are the machines with this specification, if that matches, we can finance up to 100% of that equipment for yeah. this case. If, not, if the JICA fund is not available, then there is another window for the it calls own energy efficiency funding. So if you are asked that this machine will be efficient, then I am asking you for some relevant data, like which is 10% better uh, efficient for the baseline data, which should be supported by an energy audit. Okay. Okay. That is that I understand. I wanted to know, actually, uh, what I have faced uh, some other organizations that they do not want to finance uh, like um, 50 lakh taka project. They, they, their starting uh, point starts from like five crore taka. Right. So is there any limit like this? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. yes. What is that one? Okay. That, that for the energy efficiency equipment, the lower limit, you can start from the five crore that it call, will consider. And the maximum limit for the JICA, it will be 100 crore. But okay. if that is not the JICA project, then we can fund it up to $100 million, which is 800 crore for a single client. So the lower limit is five crore and you can maximum limit will be the 800 crore. Okay, and my second question is uh, for uh, solar, uh, solar uh, power plant projects. If any uh, factory owner wants to install one solar system for their factory, uh, rooftop, I mean rooftop. Yes. Uh, so if they want to import everything on their own, uh, do you know what is the duty structure of the solar panel and equipments? No, actually I do not know. But if you wish, you can import, but that must have to be matched with the it call set criteria specification. If that matches with our specification, then only then we can finance. Yeah, okay, okay. thank you. Okay. No, that is not the 20 lakh, that is actually uh, 5 crore. Which you can, in BDT, that is a 50 million BDT. 
not 20 lakh. Because uh, I want to clear one thing that uh, ITCOL is such an organization that a very lower amount of fund is not actually feasible for getting from us, okay? We can start approximately for all of our uh, manufacturing and the construction of the infrastructure cases, we can start for 20 crore, 22 crore and onward, up to 800 crore. So three to five or seven crore would be very, uh, very cumbersome for us to process usually. So for this, to promote this uh, solar home system, solar renewable and other projects, we are allowing that yes, we can, we'll, we'll consider for the five crore projects from, starting from five crore, okay? It's okay. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you, Jayid Bhai Chamutkar, uh, presentation. We have a lot of knowledge that we have to know. We have to know that we have to know. We have to know that we have to know. We have to know that we have to know. So, we have to know that we have to know. We have to know that we have to know that we have to know. We have to know that we have to know that we have to know. Go to them. Sit with them. See if there is an opportunity. Right? If it is not, have a cup of tea and come home. But if it is, then it's a huge thing. Mane getting a loan on 6%, jekane commercial loan, I can 10, 11, 12%, the number is huge. 